All right, so this is my attempt at making a really simplistic design for a masjid. I like the idea that the women's and men's entrance are on opposite sides of the building. I feel like that's a good way to go. We have, uh, let's go into the men's entrance first. Uh, inside here, I think this layout makes a lot of sense. We have the shoe area is right to the, re to the uh, left. I like that there's a clear path from the door to the masjid. Like, if you want to go to the bathroom, you take a straight to the right and go to the bathroom. Both uh, ladies and men's side have a shower with a nice frosted, you know, like, lets in a little light, but you can't see through to the uh, shower area. But I like that the people who are currently arguing with their shoes aren't in anybody's way from the masjid to the front door to the bathroom or to the kitchen. We'll show the kitchen in a minute. The wudu area is right by the uh, door. I feel like that makes the most sense because it's like, you know, you leave your shoes, you make your wudu, you know, dry off as a little countertop there for people who, you know, put the stuff there. Got the utility closets here. We got the furnace and the uh, water heater, but here, if you go to the kitchen, and I feel like it makes sense here for the kitchen to be a um, one that, you know, depending on which gender is doing the cooking, <laughs> you know? We got a little chest freezer over there on the corner, nice big sink, a little grill, stove, and oven over here, a nice uh, refrigerator in this other corner, and here, and we got some light, some uh, windows here up high to let in a little bit of light. And a nice little serving window down here, which I figured would be good for, like, you know, I, you know, maybe feeding the poor, uh, but uh, probably having outdoor events as well. Let's quickly go to the women's entrance, which is basically the same thing, but just a little bit smaller. So into the women's entrance, and they got some cool natural light coming in their, their area, too. Their area is a little cramped, so they need a little bit more light. Their shoe area is again right to the right, nice and secluded, so the people who are currently arguing with shoes aren't in anybody's way. Again, you have a nice clear traffic line. You can go to your shoes, go straight to the bathroom if you want to, um, go straight to the wudu area. The wudu area goes right to the masjid, so like, you know, nobody's really in anybody's way. I feel like traffic flow is not necessarily thought of in a masjid all the time. but. Uh, the women's area is a little bit smaller. My preferred design of uh, the women's area of a masjid is always kind of like the little caddy corner, but like one-sided mirror situation where they can at least be behind the imam. I'm unaware of any of the filk regarding, you know, like positioning, but uh, yeah, I kind of like the, the idea that it's just kind of one big area and they're all on the same floor. Because I feel like the idea, the benefit of a um, simplistic masjid design is you know, easy to build, so you can make it really nice. They have a nice big high window up here so nobody can see in, but uh, lets in some, some good light, so they got some natural light in there. The guys are kind of spoiled, and their big mustard area, we have a big old picture window here to the left. We got three of them. I only have one of these super panels. But I, I always felt like the front area of the mustard should always be like mostly wall, because we don't want to be distracted by the outside, but a little bit of light coming in from uh, these high windows. And the Imam goes in there. And there's, of course, because I know fire code, you usually need to exit a place like this. So for that, I have a little door that happens to lead right up here to the uh, minaret. So you got a nice little staircase, leads to basically an up, up floor gazebo with this cool thing. Stand in there. I figure maybe we connect it to a PA system or not, but go there, do the adhan. And I just feel like this layout is really perfect, really simplistic. You know, design it from the standpoint of looking at it from the bird's eye view. I've often thought that the traffic consideration is really good when, oh, there's people leaving. Arguing with their shoes, they got a little space to argue with their shoes. Everybody needs a little bit of space to argue with your shoes. You hate to be in everybody's way, and anybody, you know, can go in and mm, coming in, 
it's all separate like that. I just feel like that's the, the best way to do it. Oh, and also when it comes to bathrooms, both of the uh, shower areas have this nice big counter to like put your clothes in, but I also thought multi-functioning purpose of that area so that both sides have the option of, you know, changing a baby. <laughs> changing a baby's diaper, because every bathroom needs something like that, I really think. It's one of the things you think of when you have kids. But, uh, yeah, the utility closets, you know, go where the utilities do. So, yeah, that's it. That's my, that's my design.